Great Pyrenees are basically a combination of a polar bear and a prison escapee, but we'll explain. This video is going to give you some pros and cons to getting a Great Pyrenees based on our experience with Bentley here. So if that interests you, keep on watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll wait. All right, let's go. Just like polar bears, Great Pyrenees are big, soft, protective, yet not too aggressive, and they love to fight with their front paws, so they will launch on you with those front paws. Look out. What I mean by a prison escapee is that Bentley loves to eat in isolation. He doesn't like any sort of competition near him when he's eating his food. He's not aggressive about it, but it just makes him anxious. He will find any, and I mean any, place to escape. You put him in a pasture, he's going to look underneath the fence. He's going to look above the fence. He's going to look around the fence to see if he can jump over anything. Yet, it seems like he has Stockholm Syndrome. He returns after he escapes and he looks guilty and he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really want to come back. All right, so as far as the pros and cons go, I'm going to be the professional. And I'm going to be the con man. First pro is that if you're scared of a murderous killer coming in through your window at night, a Great Pyrenees has got you covered they will alert to a potential threat before they even hit your driveway. This can be as useful as him alerting to a pack of coyotes trying to go after our chickens, or as useless as him waking us up four times throughout the night to alert us that cats are coming into a laundry room. See, he's already trying to escape. Lay down, B. We're not done yet. I'm gonna see Lay down, buddy. Oh, good girl. He's good over girl. it, he's like, I'm leaving the pack. Another con, unfortunately, is that they are not a really good candidate as a breed to be leash free. They're bred for protecting flocks, so you would think that they would like flock to their humans and not leave their side all the time. But the problem is, is that they're so intelligent that they feel like they need to go self patrol and manage and make sure that everything's okay without our consent. Unfortunately, his instincts tell him to take a hike and it's very, very frustrating. <laughs> the worst. Another great thing about the Great Pyrenees is that you don't have to worry about them being aggressive. While they are a protective breed, they're not naturally aggressive. When we had our litter of puppies, Bentley barked at every single family that came and looked at the dogs. I think that was because he was feeling protective. And occasionally, if we have an ill-intentioned person come in the home, he can feel a little bit aggressive. By aggressive, I mean just barking. For example, when we had baby chicks, we put him out in their pasture with them and we came out one afternoon and Bentley had three chicks crawling over his back. Whereas if we did that with our German Shepherd, those probably would be lunch, unfortunately. Yeah, and I think same thing's true with a baby. If you had a baby or a kid laying all up on a Pyrenees, they're not going to do anything. They're mm -hmm. going to be like, oh my gosh, let me not hurt this creature. With this breed's coat, it is vital that you groom them every day. It does take a lot out of your day. Anything you can do to avoid the matting is, is definitely worth doing. Brushing these back tail feathers is like trying to brush curly hair. It gets so frizzy. Their coat helps manage their temperatures. Favorite and the last pro about this breed, their intelligence. They are highly intelligent. Matt and I are convinced that he knows English. These, this breed in general is so smart. The reason that they are so smart is because they used to have to be out and managing herds slash flocks without supervision. So they are able to critically think or as much as a dog is able to. They've bred in critical thinking. So these dogs are highly intelligent. Be careful what you say around them. It's like a child. Spell it out if you want them not to know. And finally, the last last con is that Great Pyrenees treat fencing like a puzzle. We have done everything we can imagine to keep Bentley on this farm, and yet he has done all of the following lists. Bitten through a metal tether, learned how to open a cat door cover when it's supposed to be child locked. He's pulled out of his collar. He's busted through a window screen. He's jumped a six foot fence on his own. And everything in between, starting at three feet to six feet. We also had the six foot fence at Matt's parents' house that was made of cement or bricks. And he managed to find an AC unit that he could jump on and then jump over the fence. That was fun. He ended up at the neighbor's uh, 4th of July party. It was, he has tried to jump out of the car window. And lastly, he almost strangled himself jumping over the porch railing. He was dangling there, kind of spinning around when I got here. So. He's done pretty much everything under the sun. That's all we have for you about Great Pyrenees. Take one at your own risk. They're amazing, loving creatures, but they come with a lot of work, and that's just all I'm gonna say about that. Find out yourself if you don't believe me. That said, when in doubt, love it out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.